Going to be a clash of wills uh, for sure here. I feel like if Wolf's able to pop off in this matchup, he looks particularly devastating. But if Shasta is able to get these up air drag downs, these other things going, get some of these tech chases, get a jab lock or two, he can look very dominant in this matchup. Remains to be seen. Okay, I wasn't the stage they wanted. Fair enough. But it'd be like that. Yeah. I mean, they can't go to Pac Land, so. Wait, they went back to Pokemon Stadium, too. I am the confused. Uh, maybe they were on the wrong side. Oh, uh, okay. There we go. That was like, it. Oh, the, the feng shui was off. Sorry, guys. Yeah, We're getting into it. Winner's quarters. Yeah, K9 was supposed to be player one, and Jess was supposed to be player two. And that's why the names were backwards, and then they just fixed it after. What swell chaps? Get on there. Get on there. It is to help you guys out, honestly. You know. But game one happening. Forward tilt. This is going to be interesting because Greninja and Wolf, pretty combo heavy. So, Mr. Rogers, you've seen a good amount of Shasta's Greninja. Uh, not his Greninja. I've seen a good amount of Shasta. Okay. Uh, so how cheeky a player is he? Uh, I don't know. Like from what I've been seeing, it's been pretty honest. Like he will go. He goes for the dash attack. Goes for the yeah. the tried and true setups. And but like nothing really like too out of the ordinary. Like I haven't seen like any like crazy setups that like like the crazy Greninja that like could do. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a little hard because like. When you're playing against K9, K9 kind of is very susceptible to those random setups because he's a more of a neutral place player. He's kind of like expecting, he like he's trying to outspace you, trying to out sure. do everything. But like once you hit him with that cheeky setup, that's kind of like how K9 loses. <laughs> I I ask because I see a world where Wolf goes for the gun, mm -hmm. and that predictable hitbox enables the down B for Greninja to steal a stock in a pretty wild. Mm -hmm. I've seen it happen. It's always hype, but I'm just wondering if Shasta is going to feel so bold. I haven't seen, like, from the last game we saw Shasta play, he did not throw the counter out. Right, once. right. Not even once. But if he's ever, if there's a time to throw a counter, it'd be against those wolf flavors, dude. That, that, I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing it. Yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing it. Oh, got him at 171, up throw going to kill. Kind of wild. At a buck 20 on his second stock. It may already be too little, too late, but he's going to start to rack some damage up. Dash attack, up smash. Mixes up his return with the water shuriken. We saw him do that successfully time and time again last time. But uh, that, he, he was already point blank anyway, but that, that up smash was getting him. Yeah, that up smash uh, said I'm taking the stock now. So it's not going to not gonna do too much. Oh, and now they're both trading these projectiles and playing a bit more back. But can I... He, he's fine with taking every projectile to the face oh, yeah. until that stock's gone. <laughs> he, these are trades he's more than comfortable with. He has another stock to play with at 77%. Even if he does eat a forward smash or goes ham yolo at this point, he has to feel very good about his chances of taking game number one. Shasta trying to get the momentum going. Forward throw. Almost gets the stock. Not going to be oh. it, but the wolf flash. Oh, go, go, gadget arm. Yeah, dude. You know what? Shasta's been getting a lot of these, like, upbeat, like, things to like get him like to make force him recover higher and i'm and here for it baby. i i broke Ooh. but he's never taken a stock for it or even really gotten a punish for it like he'll try to hit them but i feel like if he just goes for another one <laughs> that, that, <laughs> I feel like that might be a little better or like maybe if he hits them with like a little shuriken just like a, yeah. so they don't snap the ledge because if you get hit you, there's like a certain amount of frames where you just can't snap the ledge right and like they're forced to recover low and then he could do something else I feel like it's one of those things that has like a 15% chance of success, but mm -hmm. it doesn't cost you a ton to try to go for it. So it's like, well, why not? Mm -hmm. Generally, you can angle the second part of the back to get back before you know, you're know you dealing with any kind of punish options. Mm -hmm. But when it does happen, it's pretty omega -like. Yeah. Oh, man. Double dash. dash oh. Yeah, like I, Wolf's that kind of character where... Oh. You get hit by the the one true combo, and then sometimes the cheeky third hit. But like everything's usually a good one, two, maybe three. Yeah, Trini Shasta's been injured for a speed bump with all these dash attacks. But 96, not the biggest gap. 
Just need Shad to start to piece some offense together. He can use the dash attack again. Back air from K9. Just keep Shasta back. And the quick reflect comes out. Yeah. Well, it's reflectors. Um, it's like one. It's it's an okay reflector. It's not as good as like a few of the other ones. They're a bit faster. Like Falco's recovery is ridiculous. Right. I mean, man, I actually have not seen Shasta throw out that Shadow Snake as a recovery option until now. <laughs> I guess in this matchup, you, you, you got a lot to lose because Wolf does have enough range to theoretically get outside its hitbox, but to let you know that wasn't the play. Sure, forward air, 114, not enough to get the first stock. K9, push for up air, up tilts, oh. gets him off the forward tilt. That jump killed him. Oop. Kind of unfortunate for Shasta. Pressing a button, costing you your stock. Trying to get him with a two frame on that down tilt. Keep minus, man. Go ahead and try. Mm -hmm. Dash tag just misses. Shasta drops in. Doesn't get punished. Looks for an up tilt. Throwing some options out after the shield. See K9 get the grab. Get some offense going on his second stock. Up tilt's a thing. Down tilt to the fair is going to take up the stock, though. But did you notice? He did throw out a counter. He did throw one out, but K9 was ready for it. Got him with the grab. So it's Spicy times out here. Yeah, that's going to be another issue. He's like, K9's a very grab-heavy kept player. He's been playing since Brawl, so he's got that. He's got those. Oh, true. He's true. got that kind of play style in deck. Oh, that accidentally finished off that jab. Ooh. Wolf Flash, Spot Dodge, Remix. Um. The, that's the, that's the, I don't want to play this stock. That's the yeah, homie stock. That, that, that's, that's an oops and an oof. Mm -hmm. But it's all good. Down smash, not going to get anything out of it. K9, okay, though, he's been playing neutral well enough that even with that SD, he's still more than capable of taking this game. Mm -hmm. Gets Shasta back on, tries to get cheeky up the wall, cling, doesn't work out. Dash attack, looks for the offense, neutral at air dodge. Dash attack to Bear. Redinger's back air is a lot better than I think people give it credit for. Up smash, though, oops. It is pretty fast. It's actually a really... It, it could it's actually hitbox be. hitbox is larger than you would think it is. Yeah. Three hits, so it's kind of hard to parry. And, like, it, it's honest, it, not actually a bad out, out of shield option. It feels very sticky. Like, it is the way it lands and it's just the stun involved on it. But here we are, final stocks, thanks to that SD. Shasta in the position to potentially steal this. There we go. Side B doesn't come out often, but when it does, it works every time. Back air, though. That that's, works every time, too. That's a back air. That's a <laughs> nice back air. Yeah. 